Hello from Mojave Bay. We've been up here a few times now because I've got family up here that I like to visit. Um, and this is where we always stay. Spin it around. So, Discovery Parks. Um, we've been up here two times in a caravan. Um, and this time, because we're still waiting for our new van to be made, um, we're staying in the cabin. So we're going to take you for a little walk around. So coming to reception and it's got um, automatic gate. So you've got a bopper. It's my bopper. Right at the front is um, a kitty's, oh, what are they called? Inflatable uh, jumpy, jumpy, pillow. jumping pillow. Just right at the front here. There's some kids on it, so I'm just going to turn off for a minute. There's two pools um, in this caravan park. This one is not heated. Um, I would say this is the original pool. And um, we're going to take for a walk, a walk down and we'll show you the heated pool. Kids can hire these little, I oh know, dinky things. There. Um, and here's some of the cabin, original cabins. Eh. All right, caravans here. They're those things the kids can hire. They're pretty cool looking. Okay, so this spot here is the first spot we ever um, stayed in with one of our fans. We actually really liked it. We had an ensuite site. So there's the ensuite here. That's not our van, but just showing you where we stayed. I think it was site number nine and there where the camper trailer is site 11 that was a really good site we we liked that one as well um, got nice bush area there um, we're going to walk down to the pond there's lots of turtles in the pond so stay tuned Site 115, that's where I want to stay next time because you've got a barbecue area right next to it. Um, and I'll just have a little look in there. I think it's like a community kitchen. Let's have a little look. Yeah, look, barbecue, fridge, like a camp kitchen. Right there, see we could be parked there John, that's going to be our spot next, I want that. And around this way, pond, lots of ducks and lots of turtles. Um, the oh look, I haven't ever noticed fish in there before but there's big fish. Um, see if I can get down to any turtles. You won't see it because it's not, it's not um, polarised. There, yeah, there's a turtle head sticking up. Ah, oh, look at this bird. Where are you? I'm in a nice little sunbake or air out. So it's such a beautiful little area, and it takes you then, as we keep walking over the bridge, it's all the um, unpowered sites. Oh, and the glamping tents. It's flying up on there. The water's gone down heaps since last time we were in here. We came December 2020 it's and the water was, while, yeah, because the water was right up to that um, tree. tree, wasn't it? Yeah. There's the glamping tents there. There's more over here. And these people must be lost because they were at the front a minute ago. But hard to get lost. Not hard to get lost. So down here, um, we'll head towards the next pool. I'd say the water comes up quite high. Okay, this pool is more heated. I think this end is the shallow end for the kids. Really nice little area. 
behind is like an amenities block and I think there's a um, laundry in there and then over this way is the tennis court okay here we'll have another look in that way oh that's right there's a really nice camp kitchen down here too yeah tennis courts here and then this camp kitchen down here has um tv in it i think let's have a go at this one it's a beautiful area Oh, the t oh no, there it is. TV up on the wall. There. Lounge to sit on. Barbecue area. And washing up facilities. Everything's supplied here, so you just need to bring your food and plates down and you're good. And everything at this caravan park is clean. I've never ever seen any filth in this place. It's well kept. Okay, we'll take you up towards the cabin we're staying at. Okay, just a little walkie up the street. Um, I've been stopping it and bypassing a lot because it's a big park. I'm sure you don't want to see just a road walking. So, Well, not the road walking, you know what I mean. But anyhow, we're going to take you up to the kids' um, recreation room. Always one of the workmen helping you reverse into the spot which I don't care how experienced you are I think it's a really good idea because then they know their area is not getting damaged at all so John and I have decided that whenever we're hitting a caravan park or even a just a camp area we're going to give a review let you know what we really think about it so please hit the like and subscribe button please and we, turn the bell notifications on yeah we always forget to ask you to do that so if you can do that for us that'll be great okay here's another little kids area little playground for the little ones um games area in that building it's also a tv room as well yeah like a home theater room. like a home theater room isn't it it's yeah. good so we'll show you that here's the little kids area there and then we'll walk in here. It's actually one of the better parts we've stayed at. It is really, isn't it? Oh, and I'll tell you what, Harvey Bay, John and I, it was our wedding anniversary last night. We couldn't find anywhere for dinner that we wanted to go to. So we had pizza from this guy, Crazy Joe. I'll tell you what, it was one of the nicest pizzas I've ever had. And it was a heavy pizza. It was heavy and it, it was filling. So try him out. It's at um, Torquay. Anyhow, look at this games area for the kids. What have we got? Is it one of those air ball air things? I don't know. I don't know what these games are called. Our kids love these. We've spent so much money on these damn things. I think we've only ever got one or two things out of them and we've we got four kids. Well. So yeah, we've probably paid for these bloody things. Okay, snooker table, awesome. I'm going there. Another one of those claws. This art, John, can you just, just shift her a cheek? This artwork on the wall, it's made out of milk bottle lids or just plastic bottle lids. I'll try to get a better picture than that. Hang on. Go around this way. Look at this. How cool is that? All from lids. Pretty good. Okay, we're going to the theatre room. Theatre room. It's called the Flippers Club. TV on the wall, lots of lounges. We actually have never seen this in action, so it must be for school holidays, I would say. For the kids, but yeah, pretty good. Alrighty, we'll walk back to our cabin now. Here's some of the cabins. See what I mean? The gardens are nice, the grounds are kept clean. It's very good. Okay, so we're right at the end. We're staying in the cabin 810. It's the spa cabin, I think they've called this one. 
Spa is very small though. Spa is very small. Two bedroom though. All the facilities you want. It's even got a washing machine. So it's very, very nice. We'll show you inside in a tick. Okay, here's just a little walk through of the unit we stayed in. This, remember, I think I told you was the spa en suite or something like that. Um, so you walk in, you've got a little lounge room area, telly, DVD player, aircon, and then your kitchen area, little kitchenette, microwave, stove, full-sized fridge and we were surprised when we saw a washing machine in here so that was good to your right was uh, the second bedroom with the bunk beds and the single bed and you're going to notice that all the beds are unmade because we forgot to film this before we moved in and we're moving out today through here you've got your, your bathroom um, now one thing I'll point out with this spa play is spa en suite is the spa is really low like it's it's sunken in that bath so you have to be really careful getting out of it um, main bedroom and then that's it we we're really happy with the place and we'll definitely come and stay here again I can't remember how much we um, paid for it it is school holidays starting today so obviously the rates will go up so okay thanks for watching guys don't forget to hit like and subscribe and bell notifications we're going to be doing a lot more weekends away until we get our caravan so hope to bring you more reviews soon thanks there you go guys that's our walkthrough of discovery parks g'day g'day parks at um Harvey Bay in Fraser Street. There's a couple of them up here, so it's the Fraser there's Street lot, ones. Yeah, but there's lots of caravan parks in Harvey there's Bay. There's a lot. Harvey Bay is bigger than what you think. We When we went for driving a bus today, it was like, God, it's a big place. We've yet to explore a lot of it. Um, but anyhow, we're going to do reviews every caravan place we stay at. Um, so I hope you like that one. Don't forget to hit the like, subscribe, and turn the bell notification on. And we'll and see you later. Yeah, bye. Bye.